All that he had worked for was gone, and he almost lost his company. But being responsible for his children and workers inspired him to rebuild Lego. A new factory was constructed. Soon the production of wooden toys started again. The little company fought its way back into the market. Gradually, the Lego factory began to run smoothly, and Ole started looking for new challenges. One day, he went to Copenhagen to look at a new machine that had just arrived in Denmark. It was a plastic molding machine, and Ole was very excited about it. Should we buy it? It sure is a good bargain, and it will give us a lot of opportunities. Well, it does sound interesting, but it is a lot of money. I'll take that as a yes. When the plastic molding machine finally arrived, Ole started making little plastic teddy bears and rattles. But he still had the plastic bricks that he had received at the fair. There was something about them that he couldn't stop thinking about. And even though no one else could see the potential in them, Ole decided to redesign and put them into production. But it was when Lego first launched the Gray Ferguson tractor that the plastic toys became a success. Unfortunately, the sales were dropping during the summer, and the company had too many toys in stock. This can't be right! Of course our products can be sold the whole year, not only for Christmas! Gottfried decided that he would go out and sell the toys himself. Gottfried brought his wife Edith as company and moral support. If you can't get cash, then um, we need that butter and egg. Well, it wasn't that bad. Gottfried was a success in his trip around the country, which helped Lego to get out of its financial crisis. They reached home just in time for Ole's birthday party. Ole turned 60, and the whole family was gathered to celebrate with him. Well, I guess it was a long trip around the country. Hey, I got an idea. Uh, listen, listen, what about a picture with the three generations? Everyone thought that was a good idea, and we were placed on the sofa with all the presents and flowers around us. On a business trip to England, Gottfried met the head of a big shopping center on his way home. They discussed the toy industry, and the conversation would be very important to the future of Lego. Damn this industry! I just think that toys are no good nowadays. What do you mean? I think they're working very well. Oh, they work.